McDonald had an apartment house. Written by Judy Barrett, illustrated by Ron Barrett. Old McDonald lived in an apartment house with his wife and their dog. He didn't own the building. Fat Mr. Rental did. Old McDonald was its super. He polished the brass doorknobs when they got smudgy, mopped up the hallways when they got dirty, and sent up steam when it got cold. Old McDonald's apartment was on the bottom floor, and it was very dark. The windows were covered by a thick, bushy hedge that grew into the front yard. Without sunlight, his wife's tomato plant grew pale and droopy. So, Old MacDonald decided to cut down the hedge in front of the windows. With all of the sunlight that came in, the plant straightened up, grew a few leaves, and even grew a few tomatoes. But the spot where the hedge had been looked very empty, so Old MacDonald's wife suggested that they fill it with her tomato plant. And they did, and it grew lots of new leaves and many more tomatoes and much, much taller. Why not get rid of the rest of the hedge, Old MacDonald said. Then instead, I could plant vegetables in the yard. They're better looking than the hedge and much better tasting, too. So he cut the whole hedge down to the ground, and in its place, he planted rows of corn and melons, beans and radishes, and the fountain became a self-watering pea patch. The front yard had became a whole small farm and the tenants were amazed. One of the tenants, Miss Katz, really didn't need four bedrooms anymore. Her children were grown up, so she moved out. It occurred to Old MacDonald that when an empty apartment building would be an empty apartment would be a good place for, to grow lots more vegetables. He quickly moved in some soil and proceeded to redecorate in late vegetarian style. He laid down a carpet of carrots and cabbages, put some sweet potatoes where the couch had been, and stuffed the closet with mushrooms. Some days later, Miss Cat's downstairs neighbor, Mr. Hopkins, turned on the faucet and got hot and cold running sweet potato vines. Above his head, he could see carrots popping through the ceiling. He became furious. Either that garden up there goes or I do, he screamed at Old MacDonald. But Old MacDonald really didn't care. He had begun to feel that in some way vegetables were better tenants than people. Carrots didn't smudge the brass doorknobs. Cucumbers didn't leave muddy footprints in the halls. And potatoes didn't bang on the radiators for steam. Angry Mr. Hopkins moved out. A variety of vegetables, a field of clover, and a cow moved in. No one knew what old MacDonald was doing, but you can't keep a cow a secret for long. More and more people moved out, very disgusted with what was happening. So more vegetables, fruit, trees, cows, and chickens took their place. Finally, every tenant in the building had moved out. The apartment became a four-story farm. Then one day, fat Mr. Rental, the owner, stopped by to check on the house and collect the rent money, as he did every few months. When he saw that his tenants had been replaced by vegetables, fruit trees, cows, and chickens, he got very upset. Look here, old MacDonald, what have you done? he shouted. Where are the families? All that's here now are bushels of fruits and vegetables, herds of cows and flocks of chickens. They can't pay me rent. Old MacDonald and his wife were very sad. They knew they would have to leave. Fat Mr. Rental told them so. In fact, he was going to have the whole farm thrown out into the street. Old MacDonald told his wife not to cry near the tomato plant because the salt water wouldn't be good for it. Besides, it set a bad example for the cows. Fat Mr. Rental paced back and forth quickly in front of the house. He was very upset and not really sure that he'd like 
the idea of throwing the farm out into the street. Old MacDonald had been such a good super. Now not only was he without tenants, but he would be without a super too. Whoever heard of a farm in the middle of the city? That's absurd, he muttered. Or is it? Maybe a farm could pay me rent after all. The next morning, old MacDonald and his wife stepped outside the house carrying their suitcases in the middle of the front walk. Fat Mr. Rental was building a store. There was a big sign that read, Rental and McDonald's, fruits and vegetables, fresh milk and fresh eggs, hourly. Fat Mr. Rental waved at old MacDonald and shouted, Where are you going, partner? You grow the stuff and I'll sell it. Vegetables will pay me rent after all. On opening day, the store was jammed. Fat Mr. Rental made a very long speech, which he asked everyone to come in very often and buy as much as they could. He asked Old MacDonald to say a few words, and he did. He said, People, I'm happy to have such fine vegetables as tenants. I hope you agree that good vegetables make good neighbors. The people applauded and then began to buy as much as they could. They came back day after day. Both the store and the farm thrived through the summer and fall. And even winter, when the earth outside was frozen and covered. With snow, things were still growing inside the steam-heated farm.